You're watching Fox 5 News at 5. And it's the latest trend in pampering your pet. Why some dog and cat owners are starting to cook meals, especially for their... I know lots of people who do this. Sure. They make home-cooked meals for their dogs and cats. Well, take care of it. Well, we certainly have done a lot of stories about this oh, yes, subject. Now, this is the, the very latest, I mean, the latest trend in pet pampering. Maybe this will be for yeah. the Mackenzies. <laughs> Maybe. A lot of owners are ditching the tradition of canned uh, dog foods, mm -hmm. you know, the dry and the wet ones, yeah. and cooking up meals, especially for their beloved pets. Of course, and Fox 5's Ashley Bellman is in Hoboken tonight to show us all of this pampering that's going on. <laughs> hey, Ashley, great story. Yes. Well, we know that humans are becoming progressively more and more health conscious. Looking into what we're eating, well, that healthy trend is translating into what we're feeding our cats and dogs. And pet parents, myself included, are willing to spend a little bit more time and money both in the store and the kitchen to make sure our four-legged friends are getting the good stuff. Pet owners know that feeding their furry friends properly is important, but with so many options, it's hard to figure out what is best for them. Jenny Singh is a veterinarian at Rutherford Animal Hospital. Probably over the last five to ten years, the, the food market has just exploded. I mean, there's like thousands of brands of food, and it's, it's, it's overwhelming. Pet food companies like Fresh Pet created a fresh pet food alternative made with real meat and vegetables and no preservatives. We're all trying to eat like a fresher and healthier diet, and we're trying to do the same thing, you know, for pets and bring that fresher, healthier, and, and less processed diets. And The company, based out of Secaucus, New Jersey, ships all of its dog and cat food to stores around the country. Prices can range anywhere from two to twenty dollars and have about a 20-day shelf life. Scott says per meal his products cost about 10 to 15 percent more than other brands, but people are willing to pay a little bit more. Absolutely. He's part of the family. I feed my family great food. Why would I not feed him the best? And people are also spending more time preparing their pet food, myself included. Meet Myla, my adorable three-year-old Maltese Yorkie mix, who pretty much thinks she is a human, probably because I treat her like one. I heat up Myla's dog food and mix it with vegetables because it's healthy and she likes it. People are willing to go to those lengths to do what they think is best for their pet. And more organic and specialty brands are hitting the market, but like Dr. Singh says, just make sure it's something that agrees with your pet that they enjoy, and obviously, don't break your budget. Live in Hoboken, Ashley Bellman, Fox 5 News. Oh, Milo's living the life. I know. Ashley. We learned something about yeah. you, Miss Ashley. <laughs> Thank you.